Okay, today I'm in my shop working on a Polaroid TV. Got it here on the table. Model number on this one is a, what is it, FLM2610. The capacitors I had to replace to fix it were C928, 47 microfarad at 35 volt, C940, 1000 microfarad at 35 volt, C909, 47 microfarad at 35 volt, and C932. 47 microfarad at 35 volt. By the way, C932 was covered in a heat shrink, so it was kind of tricky to find it. Anyway, uh, just to show you what you go through here on this particular one, pull the back off, of course. Uh, hopefully you have the sense to know how to do that. Be careful when you pull the back off, you've got your switches right here on the end, and so you've got your, your wire connector, of course, or your ribbon cable going to your switches. Now, before I could pull the power supply out on this one, I had to lift this up here, so I had to take these screws out on this side. Anyway, you can see it's fairly straightforward. Oh, you do have to unplug a couple plugs here. You unplug this one, unplug this one, and you can slide this out if you have this part loose. Let's see. We're getting there. There we go. I already pulled the screws out of here for the video's sake and I'm going to point at the capacitors, their location, to make it easy. By the way, this was rather annoying to get this all out of here because you've got these uh, clips here on the end for the transistors, and I put some more heat sink compound on them. And they have like a, oh, it's almost like a rubberized cloth along the edges of this thing here. And I guess that helps transfer the heat from the transistor to the cloth or isolate it or something. And you've got some more here. But the capacitors I changed, we'll start with the biggest one here. This was a 1,000 microfarad at uh, 35 volt. I, I just only happened to have a 50 volt one around, and it was too big to fit in there. So this one's going to hang out of the side, and it's not going to hurt anything. I put a little glue on there just to play it safe. But that one's looking good. And there was C940. Let's see if I can find C940. Um, Gee, I should have marked everything uh, ahead of time. Well, I'll tell you what. Just to shorten this video, let me let me just point at the ones I replaced because I marked them green. There's this one right here. This is the one that actually fixed it, and this was C928. And uh, I just replaced the others because they were marginal or almost bad. And um, you know, I figure as long as I got it open, I may as well, may as well give the customer his money's worth. But anyway, so we've got C928, that was the one that actually fixed it, and that's uh, 47 microfarad at 35 volt. We've got C909, and that was a 47 microfarad at 35 volt also. I used a 63 volt on these, it's a beefier capacitor. Then we've got this one they covered in heat shrink tubing, so I almost didn't realize it was a capacitor. And that's C932, 47 microfarad at 35 volts. And... Then, of course, this big one that I mentioned, that was uh, C940. All right, so that should do it, and the unit works pretty good now, so uh, if you have a, one of these power supplies and you need me to rebuild it for you, feel free to contact me. We'll work something out if you want to mail it this way. Thanks a lot.